Hello, Ryan Matt Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video I'm going to cover how you can grab emails from a list of URLs. So from our last video we had scraped up this real estate agent list from Google and I'm going to use that as an example in this video as well. The last video was on phone number grabbing, it's on the channel if you want to see that. This one's on email grabbing, extracting. So I'm just going to go here to grab check and then grab emails by crawling sites. And so what's going to happen is there's a bunch of functionality. I'm just going to make sure I have this use harvester URLs one checked right here because that's going to use these URLs. Or I can type in a website here if I wanted. I'm going to hit start and then we can talk about the functionality while it runs for a second. It has a lot of things which you don't need to worry about. I do have an in-depth video on this. This short video will just mention the fact that you can control the user agent if you want to. You can control a delay that's fixed or random. Um, I can export not completed. And I do have options, which gives me the option to save the URL with the email address. So the URL and then the email that it scraped. And then I can set up filters to filter different things, of course, closing out. And then I have proxy retries. So if you're using proxies on a website, you can set how many times it retries if there's an error. But the big one is depth. So let's look at the emails we got, and then we'll talk about depth. And so the data folder, if we hit that, we can see our file here, and we it saved both. Um, and so I have just this list, and then I also have with all the duplicates. So it automatically removes duplicates in this file, and this file is the whole list with duplicates and all. And we can see we have our email address, and then the URL that it came from right here attached. And we go down through there. If we don't want the URL attached, of course, all we would have to do is go to options and uncheck that, and it'll give us just emails. Depth is really cool because this one just scraped the pages or URLs I loaded in. If I set it to depth two, then it's going to go one more level into the site. So if we grab one of the URLs here from our list and pop it open, we can see here it would be a page like this. But on these big directory type pages, they don't always list an email. Sometimes it's on the individual person's page. So we can click on Melissa here, and now we're going one more layer into the website. And so that would be if I put this to depth two. It'll run the first one, it'll run in rounds. So the first round will be this directory page and then on depth two it will click the link and it will go into that individual person's page and see if there's anything there. If I set it to depth three it'll click another link and so it would click some other link here and then go into it and see if there's an email there. And so you can control how deep it crawls into the website up to 20 different pages. And so that is how you can scrape emails from a list of URLs. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.